control room. Uh, I just wanted to do a video today about growing inside and about um, making sure your plants have enough light. Um, light is key. The more light you can get to your plants, generally the better, especially when you're growing um, vegetables. Uh, if you're trying to grow any of that stuff inside, most vegetable plants need a lot of light in order to grow vigorously and to, uh, to be healthy plants. Um, I use a combination of natural light with windows in my house, south-facing windows. Um, I try to get as many plants right up on the windowsill or up here in my grow room. I've got this old bookcase um, shelving unit. And I get a lot of plants uh, right next to the window, and uh, they grow very well. Even throughout the winter when it's cold and there's less light, um, still get quite a lot of light come through that window. And sunlight is, is really powerful compared to uh, the light you get from grow bulbs. Um, so to bump up the amount of light in my grow room up here, I use CFL bulbs just 100 watt equivalent CFL bulbs and I try to buy um, bulbs that have the highest Kelvin rating possible uh, that just means it's going to be a brighter white light and uh, if you get a lower Kelvin bulb it's going to be a more yellow kind of softer light um, for general growing for leaf the growth of, growth of leaves and, and general plant health, um, bright lights are the way to go. Um, for flowering and fruiting, plants do need lower Kelvin uh, light. So if you're relying entirely on artificial light um, and you want to ensure that your plants are going to produce fruit and, uh, you know, flowers and fruit and, and they do that properly, you're going to want to have a little bit of lower Kelvin light mixed into that light range too. But because I have the sunlight coming in, which covers the spectrum of light that's needed, I just bump it up with uh, cheap 100 watt CFL bulbs, buy them in a big box, um, try to get them on sale, and I just have them spread around my grow room do uh, to bump up the light. So I'll just quickly go around and I'll just uh, show you what additional bulbs I have in here um, that are working with the sunlight to, uh, to help my plants grow. So over here above my uh, seeds um, I have this 200 watt equivalent CFL bulb which is just, I just plugged it in or screwed it into uh, an old desk lamp and it can run fine on that desk lamp. The great thing about CFL bulbs is they don't draw a lot of power to, uh, to compared to how much light they put out and uh, they don't produce a lot of heat so when you're worried about you know cooking your plants or you know a risk of fire uh, they are very safe and they do run quite cool. So also in the room I've just switched out the uh, the regular light fixture. I've just screwed in four 100 watt CFL bulbs that just provide a sort of extra kind of ambient light. Uh, the closer you can get your lights to your plants, the better. So here I just have a three-way adapter with three CFL bulbs, which puts out quite a lot of light. And I have them above this section of plants here. And all these kind of connectors, you know, you can get them at your local hardware store or you can order them online. Here I've got a double um, connector and just another set of two CFL bulbs. These are 100 watts as well. And they're just above these plants here. And that's all I have for lighting up here. And uh, stuff does grow. You, not, you might not get the fastest growth, but... Um, stuff still grows under this amount of light.
basically what I, what I wanted to show in this uh, video is, um, you know, utilize daylight as much as you can. Uh, your window sills, especially if you have windows that face south, they're going to get lots of light throughout the day, even in the winter, even if you live up north like I do in, in Medicine Hat, Alberta, Canada. Um, and then for extra lighting, you don't need to go out and buy very expensive grow bulbs. Um, you can, and I mean, they do work better. The, you know, a very, a very high output uh, CFL bulb is obviously going to provide a lot more light than a, um, than a lower wattage bulb. But they're also more expensive, they also draw more power. So you kind of have to figure out what your budget is and uh, how many plants you want to grow, how fast you want them to grow, how much you know yield of, of whatever you're growing that you want to get off of it. The general rule of thumb is more light is better. Um, but when you get into bulbs like high pressure sodium bulbs, they start putting out a lot of heat. Uh, they do put out a lot of light, but they also put out a lot of heat. Um, and they're quite expensive. Uh, so with the extra heat, you need to ventilate your, your grow room well. And uh, then there's the very new option, or quite new, of LED grow bulbs, which seem to do an amazing job. They don't put out much heat, they put out tons of light, but they are very expensive. So you kind of have to look, and I would really suggest if, if you're just getting into starting to grow some stuff indoors, you can use just cheap CFL bulbs, and uh, you'll need more of them than a, uh, a bigger wattage bulb, but uh, you can grow stuff, and it grows very well under uh, just cheap CFL bulbs, or you can use the fluorescent tube um, lights, like shop lights, you know, you can get, you know, a couple of those stacked up. And if you're just growing little seedlings, you know, uh, a couple of fluorescent tubes, you know, will, will more than, um, be, will be more than enough light for your little seedlings to start off. And, uh, again, with fluorescent tubes, it's like the compact fluorescents. They don't put out much heat. You can get them really nice and close to your plant. They actually say if you can get them like two inches above your plants, that's uh, that's as close as you want them, and they're going to get the maximum amount of light that way. So yeah, really just um, don't be afraid when when you start looking into indoor growing, and you know you start seeing these really expensive grow bulbs, and you start thinking to yourself, you know, geez, like to me to set up a grow room, I'm going to have to spend like a thousand bucks on all this this equipment. You definitely don't have to do that. You can start off, you know, with cheap bulbs, cheap CFL bulbs, and then, you know, see how you like growing and gardening. And, uh, you know, you can start investing in more expensive bulbs down the line. Um, I think that's something I'm going to do in the future. I would really like to get a, a really powerful LED grow light that would uh, really light a, a, a whole room so I don't have to have all these little bulbs running. But I can't afford that right now. So I'm just, uh, I'm using what I can afford, and it does work. So uh, definitely don't be put off by the, the expense of, um, you know, really expensive grow light systems. You can, uh, you can still grow a lot of stuff, and it'll grow very well with uh, cheap fluorescent lighting. So I hope that was helpful, and uh, take care, everyone. Bye.